Brenda Gunderson here to bring you your Stats 250 Friday Focus for the week of April 17th to the 23rd. I want to share with you some details about what our last Virtual Stats 250 week together is going to look like. Well, we have those last assignments now turned in. Those reflection pre-labs, we are really looking forward to grading them for you. And then you have homework 10 and lab 13 scores. We're going to get those entered for you over the weekend. There are two remaining extra credit options. They're both due on April 22nd by the end of the night. There's that MWrite post survey. That's two extra credit points towards your MWrite total. And then there's also the eCoach exam to playbook reflection. That could earn you two extra credit points towards your homework. Also encourage you to take a couple minutes to review your full grade book. Take a look at all the scores. Is there anything that you have a question about? Please bring that to the attention of your lab instructor. And then check out eCoach for that last do list and the grade calculator that's there. Now we are heading into our final exam week. So there are no more pre-lab assignments. There are no more homework assignments. There are no new topics left to cover. There is no required lab to go through or a lab wrap-up quiz to complete. It is just review. We get to focus on getting ready for that final exam. So let's go over some of those exam details. The final exam is going to take place on Thursday, April 23rd in the evening. It's usually a two hour period. We give you an extra hour for buffer, so three hours for taking that online final exam that's even shorter than a regular final exam in semesters before. We're going to have staggered start times between 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. Here's that list of when your staggered start time will be based on the lab section that you're enrolled in on coursework. So whatever your start time is, plus three hours. If you have any special accommodations or issues, we sent out that announcement, asked you to fill out that Google form, and you're working with Elaine Hembry on any of those details. Now, as with exam two, this is open book and open notes, but no collaboration with others inside the class or not. We mentioned last week that the content's going to be cumulative-ish. Yes, we're going to focus on regression and chi-squared, as those are the latest two topics that we've been covering and we haven't assessed on that yet. Though the focus will be on those topics, probably over 50% of the exam, with a couple questions from that exam two set of inference techniques, name that scenario, and some of those exam one ideas are typically connected in some way to the later topics that we've been covering. Now, we're not going to have you upload any pictures or have to draw any images, but I would have a calculator ready. The exam is going to still be formula and symbol light, but you're welcome to use words to represent anything that's needed for notation. I came up with a few examples on the later topics to give you an idea of what I mean. Yes, in regression, we have that least squares regression line, which has the Y hat to represent that predicted response. Well, you can just type Y, H, A, T. Or R with a square. Again, just put R with a two next to it, that's fine. In chi-squared, we have some expected counts or other things that we might compute and need to do to be able to work through a problem. Well, if you have to compute an expected count, here's one example of how you can just type it out in a linear fashion. And alpha is the Greek letter for that significance level. You can just type the word alpha, too. Remember that the two questions that will be on the exam at the start will be those same two with instructions and that academic integrity statement. And we're going to ask you to type your full name as an answer to confirm you've read the instructions and that you will abide by the academic integrity statement. You'll see those same instructions and statement again on the practice final exam, which will be available for you on Monday, April 20th, in the evening. As we had for exam two, I want to remind you of the ways that you can contact us during the exam if you should have some issue. We have an email and that text 
to call us at number. So that's in the instructions on the exam practice and real exam, and you can take note of these again to have them written down. All right, how about those resources for this coming week? We have a pre-recorded lecture review. There's nine review questions on it. And we also have a pre-recorded overall review that was given in the past semester with six full questions that are covered. Now there's a note and a description on those captured pre-recorded reviews that lets you know that one of the questions that's ANOVA content, you can fast forward to it. We even give you the time frame to fast forward right over that example that you won't need to know. We have pre-recorded a lab review and you can also join the virtual lab sessions that will review that content. Four really good questions with a name that scenario at the end. We've also posted questions for practicing concepts. The practice exam page on Canvas will have a link to both the questions and solutions. Homework is always a good review set of questions. If you haven't made use of the regression, homework 9 and chi-squared homework 10, recommended questions, good practice at going into coursework and typing up your answers to those questions and then checking those solutions. And certainly any of the other previous homework questions can be used for review. Those lab worksheets and supplements. Worksheet number two was that full set of assumptions laid out for you. And supplement number two was the regression example in full. Name that scenario is always a tool to use, and I would put ANOVA in as one of the topics. In fact, now you can select all of the different scenarios. When you go through problem roulette questions, I would not put the ANOVA chapter or topic on because you won't be asked to work through those ANOVA details. Your lab instructors are wanting to stay in touch with you during this week, so they'll be reaching out to you. And of course, we have many office hours, even a few extras put in that are available with Zoom. The online practice final exam. It's going to be on coursework by Monday at 5. It will have the same instructions. It'll be in that same format and style of the actual final exam. We're going to keep that one open again through the whole week, so it's not going to be officially timed. Whenever you decide that you want to go in and take it, make sure you set your um, timer for three hours from when you start so you can assess how well you were able to complete those questions. The solutions file for the practice final exam are not going to be on coursework during the week because we want to keep that not there for students to try it out, but they will be available as a PDF on the Canvas site in the review info folder. Main advice for this coming week is again to do that switching it up. You don't need to go in and watch the captured lectures or the pre-recorded lab first. Instead, try out those corresponding questions on your own. Then go in and watch the recording and follow along, checking your answers and listening to those tangent questions that might come up. And if you do that for the review questions, including those in the lecture overall review and lab, You'll be trying them out first and really giving yourself an idea of how well you understand the concept or what you need to review, perhaps better. I would intersperse looking at the homework, trying some name that scenario that's easy to do in a short period of time, and definitely making use of coming into office hours. Ask an overall question. Talk with the instructor and say, hey, can we just um, go through the details of how to distinguish the chi-square test of homogeneity and that of independence? I'm having trouble getting those separated. And then of course keep in communication with us. Connect with us with the labs, the check-ins, the office hours via email. We'll have some more announcements that are going to be coming out in Canvas, so please do read those announcements. In fact, there's going to be one on Monday. Monday will be an important announcement coming out in the morning because we're going to put up a mock exam assignment not a practice exam, but just an exam assignment on coursework. It's going to be called something like, check your start and end time exam. 
And what we're going to do is pre-program in all of those staggered opening and closing times. And so that way, you can go in on Monday and check in coursework to confirm that that mock exam assignment has your start and end time that you were expecting to see. So watch for that announcement on Monday. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to end this Friday focus with a featured video from your Stats 250 instructional team. On behalf of the instructional team, thanks for taking Stats 250. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. On behalf of your lab instructors, good luck on all of your finals. Take care of yourself and go blue. Go blue. <laughs> <laughs>